Ariel Hawani in Toronto for UFC 206 alongside Groovy Lando Venata, who meets John McDessie this Saturday night at the Air Canada Centre. It's good to see you, my man. It's good to see you. Big fight for you on a big stage. Is this true? Is this your first real training camp of your career or maybe in the last few years? Yeah, I haven't had a real training camp and, and actually fought since August 2014. Wow, what's it feel like? Oh, it's great. I'm not stressed. I'm not worried about my weight. I'm not worried about my cardio. I've had time to prepare for the opponent. Fucking feel good. But sometimes people, you know, perform well under those stressful conditions. Does it? Did it at all feel like you had too much time to prepare? Like this was too easy? No, nah, I, I okay. take my I take my proper rest and uh, I, I enjoy the whole process of the eight week camp and just really enjoy the whole thing, man. So I feel good. What's the difference between this experience and the South Dakota experience when you're taking a fight on very short notice against a very you know, highly ranked and highly regarded fighter, top of the card, and this time you could kind of like squeak in under the radar, still a big fight, but you're, you've done it, you've done it one time, like is there, do you notice a difference in the experience? I feel exactly the same as my very first fight, man. Really? Just going with the flow of it all. But in terms of nerves and nope. nothing? Nothing, no nerves. You never have nerves? Uh, sometimes I lay down in bed and I can't fall asleep and the fight plays through my head and I get a little nervous and um, I get nervous at weigh-ins. Okay which is odd, and that's about Nervous it. about what, making the weight? No, just, just the whole process of weigh-ins for some reason. I don't like know why. Stepping on the scale? Yeah. Just the underwear thing, being naked yeah, in front of people? That's it. No, I love being naked in front of people. Fully? Yeah, yeah. I'm not even gonna wear underwear this time. Cool. No, but uh, yeah, no, when it comes to the whole fight thing, man, the whole process of this, for the most part, there's no nerves. Nick Thompson, you know Nick Thompson, the GOAT? One time weighed in, just wearing a jock strap, but nothing in the back. Yeah, I'm gonna, so bear. I'm going to pass on that. Okay. All right, I'm just saying, it's been done. It's yeah. been done. Yeah. Um, what do you think of John McDessie? Fun. This seems like a really fun fight for you. Good striker, you know, in his home country. It's being pushed on fight pass and yep. things like that. You like it? Yeah, I mean, we both throw spin and shit. We're both exciting fighters, but I think he's predictable, and I'm very unpredictable in my style, and I think uh, it's a great matchup. How is he predictable? What's predictable about him? He throws the same techniques over and over. His offense is the same. His defense is the same. There's no change in the last few fights of what he does he hasn't evolved exactly okay um and 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 for you after that fight i remember talking to you and you talked about having a little more money and i think you were getting a new car am i right yeah, I did. yeah so how has life changed since your first ufc experience from you know outside the gym being a little more comfortable finances things like that it's just nice not having to worry about if i'm going to make my next rent payment or not yeah yeah because you made you got fight of the night right yeah was that a life-changing amount? I mean, it was $50,000, but yeah. did it, for the moment, did that feel like life-changing money? Yeah, basically. Have you spent yeah. it all? Not all of it, no. What did you buy? What are the big things? Car? Car, uh, traveling. And Where'd you go? And I went all around the uh, West Coast, Pacific Northwest, hit some national parks, hit Glacier, uh, came down through Colorado. After this, I'm going to Thailand and the Bahamas. To train or just for a vacation? Yeah, I'm going to go work with Ido Portal in Thailand oh, for cool. a week, and then I'm going to take my girlfriend. The infamous yes, yes. Sensei Portal. Yeah, Sensei, yeah, he's just a cool dude. Yeah. Just chilling. Um, yeah, and then it helped my, my girlfriend through vet school as well. So. Oh, wow. Um, are you still going with the uh, the skateboard? Is that still your, your method of transportation? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I definitely still longboard at the gym pretty right. often. Longboard, I should yeah. say. Yeah. Um, and you also made a big splash with your suit yeah. post-fight, the, the purple suit. Yeah. What do you have planned for us on Saturday? Similar. Is it purple? I, I got the same, the same blazer. Same, same blazer. You got to switch it up. Don't worry. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, no, next fight, I'm going to have a nice tailored suit. Oh. Very, very nice. Something coming. Not through. this fight, next fight. Next fight. We're already looking past this fight. No, we're looking not past it. Okay. Just as far as your. All right. <laughs> but, but we're wearing the same outfit, though. So, okay. I thought you were going to come out with a different kind of color for this one. Nah. I don't mean to put pressure on you, but. I know. I know. It's repetitive, right? Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. I mean, you still got a couple days. Damn, Ariel. I had to go shopping now. I'm just saying. Um, one other thing, I, I was talking to someone at uh, Jackson's, and you know that that camp is filled with some of the most famous fighters in the world, and they told me that you're the future of Jackson's. Like you're the guy, could be the next champion. You know, Jackson's has kind of hit this bit of a dry spell as far as you know winning belts, what happened with John and everything like that. Do you do you feel that, like do you feel like the team is behind you like that, and are you prepared to sort of run with that with that mantle? Yeah, I mean, I'm just doing my thing. Everybody tells me I'm going to be champ that, and whatnot, but, you know, it might happen, it might not. It seems like they're all, they're all kind of rallying behind you because you've been there for so long. It, it reminds me to a degree a little bit of, like, when Holly fights or maybe a Michelle Watterson where you're just, you just seem, and maybe I'm wrong, the impression is that you're well-liked by the whole team and they all kind of root for you when you go out to battle. Is that accurate? Yeah, 100%. Man. I'm, like, I'm the guy that's always around the gym, always in the gym, uh, 
you know, six, seven days a week and know everybody there, good friends with everybody there. And yeah, I think, I think the whole team rallies behind me and supports me. Awesome. Well, best of luck to you. Good to catch up in person. Looking forward to the fight very much. Thanks, Ariel. Cool.